Yes, we are back. The torture of the international break is done and dusted. You know, you cannot even wish that for your enemies. International break. You cannot bet wisely. It's not good for punters. Sometimes you miss your players. Sometimes you, you know, struggle to watch games. If you get to see the games on the streaming platform, even on you know, YouTube, you see. <laughs> like I say, they use POS to shoot up. Some will be like color. Some will be like, say, no, there's no color. Some will be like color, color. <laughs> international break. And guess what? We are going to international break again in, November, in October and again in November. So we have to adapt with all this break, break, break of international break. Yeah, but away from that, we are back to European football. We are back to what we love to watch, what we love to discuss because there's a lot, lot of conversation, a lot of you know, engagement, a lot of paparazzi crews, banter around European football. And this weekend, we are diving into you know, the weekend preview. You know, brought to you by Giga Win. And let's go straight to that. Let's put at it. The big one from England is the North London Derby. Talking about Arsenal against Spurs. Arsenal will be traveling to uh, Spurs for that game. And again, on the other side, we have Girona against Barcelona. They are more like a boogie team to Barcelona. But on the flip side, Barcelona are having a very, very good start of the season under their new manager, Ansi. Flick, but away from that, let's just start from the North London Derby where we have Spurs facing Arsenal. Last season, it was four points for Arsenal, two to at the Emirates, and three two at the Spurs Stadium. And it, you know, it looks like Arsenal will be coasting to win the title up until Aston Villa knocked on that door at the Emirates and they lost that one. But let's just talk about the preview of this game, and you know, let's talk about the first timer. Talking about who can make their first debut in this not non derby. For Sholanke from Bournemouth, big signing for Tottenham is fit. He has joined training and this could be his first London derby. And on the flip side, this man has moved from Liverpool, moved from Man City, moved from Man City to Chelsea, changed away from Chelsea and now with his former, clothes, former coach at Man City. Talking about, um, you know, Mikel Ateta, he could make his own too. Not another time we talk about Ryan Sterling. So these two guys could make the big stars could make their first um, debut. Talking about the North London debut. And talking about um, injury news, the team news from this game, Bisoma could be out because he had a knock in during the international break. So he's, he's still being assessed by the sports doctor, but we don't know yet. Uh, but the one that we know is that Odegaard will be out for at least three weeks. So Arsenal captain will be out of playing for three weeks. And of course, it's going to miss this not London derby. And if you look at the second leg, you know, last season, it was like the engine, the brain box of Arsenal. Odegaard is like the brain box of Arsenal and it's going to be missing during this not London derby. So Arsenal are going to swipe. Maybe Jogil will come in for them. We don't know yet. But of course, there will be no Declan Rice as well because Declan Rice red card against Brighton and he's going to win one. He's going to miss one match. And that is the North London Derby. Other, you know, um, injury worries for Arsenal. Arsenal will be missing Tommy Asu, Tierney, Merino, and of course, Odegaard, who got injured during the international break. On the flip side, Calafiori could be back. And of course, Gregor Jesus could be back for Arsenal in that one. Talking about, um, you know, the start of the season for sports. Sports have not started the season very good. Four points from three games. Lost their last game before the international break against uh, Newcastle. So, um, you know, they will be happy that inter international break break them so that they can, you know, you know, go back to the drawing board and go in this one. Uh, they have struggled against Arsenal in recent time. They have struggled against set pieces and Arsenal are king of set pieces for the past two, three seasons and, you know, in the Premier League and it could be their positives going into that game yeah, as well. You know, they are most creative person talking about the guy will be out. So maybe crosses, set pieces could be the key to win the North London Derby for Arsenal. And that is the preview for Arsenal. Two guys can make their debut. Talking about Ryan Stanley for Arsenal. And of course, um, Sholanke, Dominic Sholanke for Spurs. Let's move away from that. Talk about Girona against Barcelona. They've been a boogie team since they came into the fold, you know, they gave promo promotion into the La Liga. They've Lash, pa, pa, pa. they've lashed Barcelona 
back to back, you know, home and away. They defeated them home and away last in under Savi. And um, they have a guy talking about uh, Romeo who could not play because of contract um, obligation against Barcelona. So that means one of their strong points this season is, go is not going to play against Barcelona. For Barcelona, they're missing a couple of players. Of course, you know, their main guys, you know, um, Lami Yama is there, the main guy Lewandowski is there, the guy from Lab Leipzig, Omo Baba Omo. He they play Sepe Sepe, Omo Baba Omo. Oh, see rhymes. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, fit, um, you know, he didn't play for Spain, but of course, it looks like it's going to be fit for this game against Girona. So Aroyo will not be there, Gavi, Christensen, you know, Femin, and of course, the long will not, the young will not. Um, be partaking in this game. So for Barcelona, they've started the season very well. With three wins from three, playing well, scoring a lot of goals. Yeah, Rafinha scoring goals. Um, Lamy Yamal creating chances. Lewandowski scoring goals. And this is a new era under their new manager talking about Ansi Flex. So we got to see if Girona is going to continue as a boogie team to Barcelona. But we'll see if that will be. Um, you know, the end of their dominance against Barcelona. And those are the two key games we can, you know, dissect for the weekend. A lot of games in England. Of course, London, there is the London Derby. It's Chelsea traveling to, um, against um, West Ham. And of course, we have um, Southampton welcoming Man, Man United into their fold. And of course, if you look at Man, Man United, Rashford have been doing a lot of boxing, a lot of external training. Maybe he's going to come back to his former self and get goals for Barcelona. We don't know yet. And for Man United, we don't know yet. But those are the games we'll preview for you. Talking about the non there Derby, sports against Arsenal and the boogie team that is Girona against Barcelona in our weekend you know, preview for the weekend. Brought to you by Giga. So don't forget to follow us across. We'll be dropping snippets. We'll be dropping some key, key cuts from this on our YouTube, uh, on our X channel, talk about Puja Media, on the bed code as well. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Puja Dissect, to get all the content proudly sponsored by Giga Win. Like you guys know, my name is Sulaiman Adebayo. Football fans call me Puja. Like I always say, the other the higher the expected return. May I ticket be green? Bye for now.